Hey everybody, welcome to another DNA Master tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to download DNA Master and how to get it up and running on a Mac machine. So, for some reason, getting DNA Master working on a Mac is much more complicated than on a PC. But if you have a Mac, hopefully um, you won't be discouraged from doing um, annotations on, on, on your Mac. So, um, there are a few steps required and I'm going to be showing you um, through those steps on my extremely old and extremely slow Mac machine here. So bear with me, um, this tutorial may be a little bit sloppy because this Mac is incredibly slow. It's like ridiculous. The first thing you're going to do is go um, to Google and you're going to Google XQuartz or you can follow the link in the description. So XQuartz is a preliminary like program thing. I'm not quite sure what it is but it's needed for um, a program called Wine, and Wine is um, needed later on in our process to get DNA Master up and running. So here it is, XQuartz. We're gonna go to XQuartz there, and we're going to download that DMG um, file. So there it goes into my downloads. When it's finished downloading, I'm just gonna click it here, and um, your Mac installer will pop up here. Once that is finished, um, this little window will pop up with uh, the package in here. You're just going to double click on the package. So when this window pops up, it's just um, your typical installation. You're going to hit continue here. Uh, continue again at this screen. Again, continue. Agree. Um, we're going to install this for all the users. Proceed with the installation and it's going to validate all the packages and do all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to fast forward because my Mac is again very slow. Now at the same time as that was downloading, I went ahead and went to um, winehq.org and this is where you're going to download this program called Wine. It's a very cool program. It lets you run um, some PC programs or um, softwares on a Mac. It's like kind of an emulator, but not really. It's, it's pretty cool. Um, so Wine will let you run DNA Master on your Mac. So I went ahead to Wine HQ and I downloaded that file. I will leave the link in the description as well to that so you can just click on that and it'll be right there for you. Um, but obviously you can't install two things at once so I had to wait until this um, X Quartz was finished downloading or installing and uh, it really shouldn't take that long but for some reason like I said with my Mac it took forever. And so finally X Quartz is uh, finished installing. Um, you're going to have to, after you install XQuartz, you're going to have to log out of your Mac um, account and log back in just so it um, can do what it says on screen there. Um, so once you have XQuartz, that's the first program you download and install, then you'll download Wine, um, Wine Stable from Wine HQ, and that will be the second program that you download. So after that, after they're both downloaded and installed, you're going to log off and log back on. So once we have XQuartz and Wine installed, we're good to go with DNA Master. Now there's a DNA Master Wine file that I'm going to leave in the li in a link in the description that you guys can download. Um, somebody from Baylor uh, University put this file up there and it will let you use DNA Master with Wine. Um, I have personally just downloaded DNA Master from the DNA Master website, but at the time this video was made, um, the website to the guy um, where the guy who hosts DNA Master on his website, I think he works at Pitt or something, his website was down. It wasn't letting me access it, so for some reason I couldn't get on there. So I was able to find this link, and it looks like it's a better match for Macs and Wine anyway. It's actually what HHMI referred to on their tutorial on how to do this. So um, I will leave this link in, this, in the description for you guys. So after I finished downloading, I just opened the DMG file, and it's going to do all the same typical installation stuff um, for any installation on a Mac. So we're going to double click the DNA Master package and once we do that this installation box will come up, we're just going to hit continue and then we're going to select our Mac hard drive or wherever you want to save it to, preferably the hard drive of your computer. For some reason it took a sec for that to highlight there so I'm going to hit my hard drive and continue, hit install and put in my password here and then we're just going to wait for it to install. Alright, so it's finishing up here. Now the installation may have looked different than on your Mac depending on which operating system you have. I have a very old one, or a relatively old one, um, but some um, operating system installations may ask where you want to save this DNA Master uh, to, 
and if it prompts you to um, save to a specific location I would definitely save to somewhere like your documents where you know where it's at and can access it easily. I think the default um, to where it saves to in that situation is like a very uh, random location and it's like in a hidden file somewhere it took like a half an hour for me to find this one time so definitely change the location if it asks where you want to save it change the location to like your documents or something like that just to make it easier for yourself but in this case it didn't ask me so um, I had no problems alright so we're gonna hit close and now we should be able to open up any DNA master file within DNA master on our Mac so let's give it a try so here I am on phagesdb.org. I just downloaded a random uh, DNA master file um, from my previous phage and when I try to open it up it says we don't know what application to use this or to open this file with. So we're going to hit choose application and from the utilities list we should just scroll down and we should see DNA master on this utility list. So we're just going to um, double click DNA master and click open and after some time you should see this little wine indicator box come up and maybe even the DNA master symbol jumping in the bottom right in the dock. Um, I would recommend uh, pinning this to your dock so you have it or keeping it in your dock so you have it um, just available for you to use and then after some time the DNA master should pop up and it took a, a while to load up on my Mac because it's slow but hopefully it'll be a lot faster for you so at this point if you don't have the DNA master available to put in your dock I would go to wherever you saved the DNA master upon installation um, and make an alias or a shortcut to your desktop so you have it available. Um, once you have DNA master open you're going to go to the help tab and you're going to hit um, update DNA master and that should take some time but after a while it should update and that will just ensure that you have the current um, most current up-to-date DNA master out there and there it says it's up to date so we're pretty much ready to go so I'm gonna open up a file and just show you guys what it looks like alright so here it is a uh, maximized DNA master file that you guys should be able to work with on your Mac so it's much more complicated than a PC but it definitely is still usable so Hopefully you found this tutorial um, useful and hopefully you learned something. Thanks for watching and I will see you all later.